since uh, 2009, um, I've been directing the uh, Central American Ceramics Research Project at uh, the National Museum of the American Indian uh, with uh, the support of the Smithsonian uh, Latino Center. And um, so for the past three years, we've been um, focused on updating this very large and important collection of pottery from Central America that's housed at the museum. And we're now um, at the point of uh, putting together this exhibit that's gonna open in March of 2013. The project um, was conceived initially as a, a way to sort of build the research behind this exhibition that we're now sort of putting together. But there's also sort of a, a very scholarly foundation to this um, project. Um, and, and that is uh, to, to make this very important collection that was uh, put together decades ago. And we're talking about, you know, 85% of the collection um, coming to the former Museum of the American Indian High Foundation um, before 1940. So these are important old uh, sites. Um, and so for us, the interest has always been to um, get this important collection out there. Um, and so to get it out there, you need to update it and do the research behind it. And it's a very large collection, uh, 12,000 uh, ceramic uh, complete or nearly complete vessels. It's very large. So this doesn't count fragments and other things that sort of get put aside. The pottery itself um, dates, if, if we look at um, some of the earliest pieces, probably about 1000 BC, um, all the way up to about 1500 AD or AD 1500. Um, so it spans a very long range of, of occupation or history. Uh, people on the landscape in Central America and some of our uh, most impressive objects are actually the early ones. You know, they're more expressive in some areas. Um, and it's phenomenal to think that, that if, if, if we look at other regions that are better known, like Mesoamerica or the Andean region, uh, in, in Mesoamerica, we're talking about you know, the time of the Olmec. And the Olmec's always considered sort of you know, the first civilization and whatnot. But there are things going on in Central America that we just are starting to, to understand. And, and there are great scholars out there um, who, are, who are doing this work. You know, what we're doing is, is taking all of their hard work and bringing that knowledge to this collection and hoping to update it and then put that information out there for everybody else to use, including the same, those same scholars. We, we've done a lot of work in the archives, um, looking at photographs, um, looking at documents, and oftentimes it's to, it's to bring that missing information to the object. You know, maybe somewhere in the notes it says where that object came from. Um, but, the, but the best thing for me, and I always talk about this piece, uh, is, is a Maya vessel from Belize that um, is captured in a photograph. There's a, a fantastic photograph in the museum's own archives of somebody, I mean, it's a local guy, um, holding up this vessel. And as soon as we saw that photograph, we knew that vessel, as we had been in that collection for so long. And just connecting those pieces is what's exciting. It's its, it's, 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 it's own sort of discovery in, in that sense of, um, you know, the missing info, the object didn't have the same information that the photograph did. And so within these same institutions, and this isn't the only one, you know, you bring all those things together and you can sort of even reconstruct what's what's missing sometimes, where it was. and. And um, you know, I'd really like to find out who that individual was. And I said this uh, during my uh, uh, talk earlier today that um, I bet if we went to that same place that's listed in that uh, in the photo archives and brought that photo, um, somebody would recognize that as their, one of their relatives. And, and that would be really cool. To me, that's the kind of stuff that's really exciting. So that piece and the archives, that's in terms of um, the discovery part of it is most impressive. There, there are also, uh, aside from these photo archive discoveries, you, you never know what's in there that just hasn't been looked at. And until somebody who knows that region uh, sees it, might not realize, we might not realize that it's, it's a one-of-a-kind piece or that it's, it, it solves, you know, it, it's the missing piece to some puzzle, you know. Archaeologists are really interested in this collection because uh, of how many whole vessels there are. And we don't find those when we're out excavating. So having something to compare it to and possibly having something that solves a, a problem is, uh, is, is great. So this museum is just full of pieces that have that potential. You know, once you see those stories sort of laid out there and have someone there to interpret it and tell you this is this time period, this is this time period, you start to see how this sort of works and how great it is.